everyone, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I made these buckle cards. I've actually done these during a Facebook Live and they're just really, really fun, very easy to do. I've done the tuck ones before and I knew of the buckle cards, so this is just my take on it really. I've just done it myself. So I've got purple, pink, orange and I'm going to do a yellow one today. And basically if you've not seen or heard of a buckle card, you just pull this piece here and it's like a belt buckle. So that piece just slots into this opening and then when you open it up you've got your space there to you know stamp and write your message and obviously you don't see that when it's closed I popped some Nouveau drops there I just thought that looked really nice and then you just kind of you know slide it back in again or you know once that person's you know received the card they can it can just about stand which is quite nice actually because I thought you know originally you know when you see these things you think they're just going to lie flat but actually it does stand up but you could also just leave that undone and open up and it will stand that way as well so you know it's it's got that um, mantle appeal which is nice so don't tend to like cards if you can't stand them up and uh, yeah I think it looks really cool so I've used the polka dot on this one this is all the um, funky flowers stamps and the sentiment and then the papers are from the party collection which I'll show you in a moment um, I've used this lovely silver like um, non-shed glimmer paper this is some Centura Pearl that I had in my scraps. So I've just um, cut some leaves with that one. And then again, the same with the pink. I've got the Nouveau drops, same sentiment. And these are cards, that I just want them to just be kind of just because, and I can then write my own little sentiment inside. So, you know, you could swap out that sentiment and put a happy birthday on there. It would work really well. And again, you can just see the purple and I've put that glitter in the centers of the flowers. I think it works really well and it matches that paper there perfectly. So these are six by six. They all fold flat as you can see and will fit into a six by six envelope. So let me show you how to make them. Okay, so they're nice and easy to make. I will link the Facebook Live video below this video just so if you do want to watch that or you'd like to join in when we do them then um, you know, you'll know you be able to like my Facebook page and you'll be able to follow along. So I've used the Nouveau Drops. I'm going to use the English Mustard for today so I'll pop that there but I did use the Ripened Pumpkin for the orange one. This is beautiful. This is the Violet Galaxy. I don't know if you can see it there but it's got that beautiful shine on it and then I use this one here which is the rhubarb crumble so they're the three and three and they're all the crystal drops by Nouveau and then the ink colors so I've stamped today's flowers so I've already colored them and stuff but that's using the honey pot and that's the quick dry harmony and then I used for the orange I used the orange uh, ink dye again by Spectrum Noir then the fuchsia and the crushed velvet it, the stamps are nice and whenever you do a lot of flower stamping, stamp maybe, you know, with the in the colour that you're intending to colour them and it kind of can give you a bit of that like no line um, colouring effect or water colouring effect that they call it. It does, um, yeah, it works well. This is the stamp set I've used, so I've used the flower here and then the sentiment, sometimes you've got to, sometimes you just have to stop and smell the flowers. Okay, so again, all the supplies will be linked below, but these are the flowers that I've done in the yellow. Really nice, I've just done a little bit of shading can see there with a little bit of highlight but I like those ones a lot and then I've cut five of the leaves I've done all my mats and layers these are the dies so again I've used the die there and I've also got the embossing folders because you can emboss the back piece so I've got the six by six in the balloon which is really nice but I think I might do the zigzag on that one and that's the paper pad and it's the party one so for this one I'm doing the stripe so I've got two in the stripe and two in the polka dot and you can see the polka dot there as well it's a really nice paper pad love this one and I've done quite a lot of cards with this one here it's really nice at the top there so yeah you've got quite a few to choose from there Okie doke, so you want a 6x6 card blank, if you don't have a pre-made 6x6 card then you'll want to cut a piece of 12x6 and along the 12 inch side you want to score at 6 inches. Okay, and then just fold that one in half so you've got that and we're going to trim a bit off in a moment. And then for your mats and layers, for the back piece there you want a piece of 5 and 3 quartered square and then you'll want one for the front, so this is 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. Pattern piece to go on top of that is three and a half by five and a half. And you'll also want a white piece to go inside the same size as this one here. 
Okay, and that's so you've got somewhere to stamp and write your message. This piece is to cover your mat and layers to cover your the buckle, the strap part, but that's going to come from this piece we trim off in a moment. But these pieces here to go on top are three and three quarters by one and three quarters and three and a half by one and a half. So it's the standard mats and layers that I do, dropping down by a quarter of an inch increment each time. So you don't need the scoreboard anymore, so we'll get rid of that. And then just using my trimmer, I'm just going to open up the card and you want to work on the front one. Pop it in your trimmer and line up the score line with the four inch marker and then trim and that will give you this two by six piece. Okay. And then I lied, you are going to need the scoreboard, but I'm going to just bring in my smaller one here and I'm just going to score along the long side at two inches. So fold that, we're going to stick all of this piece behind this silver piece of card here and then that will become the buckle which will go over the front like so and we're going to cut into this bit in a moment. So let's get rid of that one. And what you can do is add some glue onto the inside of this one here, like so. And you want to stick it on here about one inch up. So I'm just going to grab my ruler and hmm, it's pretty spot on. Just move it up a little bit further. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Thereabouts. I mean, you might want it high, you might want to do yours in the middle, depending on where you have your sentiment, but because I've got my sentiment up here, I liked it further down there. So, you know, it's entirely up to you. You might want to do it right at the top, have something hanging down. Lots of fun ways to um, to decorate this. Now, I've just realised I was going to emboss this, so I can still do it. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this one in here and see how this works out. Yeah, because I can just put it through that way. So I'm going to run that through my dye machine. And there you go, you can just make it out. There we go, you can see it, it's got a real, you can feel it more than you can see it. But in person, can you just, yeah, there you go, when it catches the light. And then I can just pop that one in there. So I'm going to add my glue now to the back. Like so. And then I'm going to stick all these mats and layers down. So I'm going to pop this one on here with that pattern over the top. And then I'm going to stick this one on here. With this one over the top but I'm also going to round off all of the corners with my corner punch. Okay so that's that all done. Now if you want to do a, a tuck card that I mentioned at the beginning you will build up your kind of you know decoration, your embellishments over here so that this can tuck underneath like so. That's still glue in there but it would tuck underneath and then the person would just untuck it and pull it out. I'll link that one up here, it was the curved one or something like that. I'll have a look through, so there might be a couple on the channel actually. Um, but for this one, I'm gonna be cutting into this bit here. So what I found easiest to do is, I'm just gonna grab my pencil there, and you wanna come in about five eighths of an inch from the this side here, okay, of, the, of this strap. Um, so I'm gonna, and you're marking on the paper, not on the strap. So five eighths of an inch, it's about there. And again at the bottom here. So five eighths is about there. Now I'm going to open it all up. And you're going to cut from pencil mark to pencil mark. So I'm going to grab my metal ruler and my cutting knife. And you want to push down on that ruler. You don't want it to shift at all, which is why I like this one. This is from Arteza. It's the triangular one. It's the, I think they call it the, yeah, architect's um, ruler. And um, it's really good because it's, you know, you don't run the risk of chopping your fingers. So I'm just going to push that right down and you want to keep it nice, nice and straight. Try and do it in one go, she says, and then moves it. It's because I'm f filming. I would usually lean over. Okay, so take your time. And then I'm going to shift it. You basically want to make a very, very small little slot, so I'm going to just shift it across a little bit, it's about a millimetre. I'll bring it up to the camera when this is done, I'm just trying to make sure I really put some pressure down on this one. Okay, like so, and then I'm just going to pop a little cut at the top and the bottom. If you've got any pencil marks you can just rub that out, but now I can just push that piece through. Some people might have, you know, a punch that's got this kind of shape um, you might cut it on your digital cutting machines, but now you see I've got a really nice 
line there, the little opening, and that will be enough for you to now tuck in your strap. I need to put a bit of glue underneath the end of there, but that's what you have. And then you want to start building up all of this on this piece here, but you want to make sure you don't stick this together. You want this to be able to move, you know, freely. But at the same time, you want to kind of disguise it, but you, you know, you also want people to kind of know it's there. I think I went a bit too over on the purple one, but you can see here, you can just about make it out there. And again, with the orange one, you can kind of see it a little bit. So it's up to you. I mean, it's pretty obvious when they get that, they're going to go to open it and they'll be like, oh, what do I do? And yeah, they just pull it open. So yeah, I'm going to keep mine like that. I'm going to, and I'm going to start feeding in the leaves. I've got an odd number because it's always good to work in odds, but I'll build all of that up so that'll look really nice. And then I'm going to bring in my sentiments. I've already got that stamped and that's on some foam. And then I'm just going to finish off with some uh, Nuvo drops. done and now I'm just going to finish off like I said this is the English mustard so I'm going to pop a few drops I'm going to do right at the top some nice big ones there I do like to do quite large drops and do one down here try and do like I've done on the other ones one little one there try and work in kind of clusters of odd numbers and I'll do three down here I'm kind of running low on this one Made that little one there. There we go. I think that just finishes it off nicely. So I'll bring that one up so you can see it a bit closer. There we go. Isn't that cool? Just need to cut another one of them for inside, but I'll have to wait till it dries now. And again, I should have maybe shown you the buckle. I can't really open it, but you can see again how they all work. So this one here, I've already opened. So I'll just pop that one. Oh, if I can open it there, pop that one back in there like so and then you've got the purple one again that just pops out and that's got the inside there as well so you can obviously stamp a lot more there if you want these look great you know if you've got a special birthday you could put you know 21st 60th you know all kinds of um you know different things on the front there i think it looked great but i love those colors there we go pink yellow purple and orange I think they look fab and I'm building up a stash again now of cards because I had done a lot of samples but obviously a lot of those samples have been sent off and used for all different things so it's nice to have you know my own kind of um, you know my own stash now so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this one as always all of the supplies will be linked below and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye